How's it going? Happy Monday. A little bit low in energy this morning. Uh, another jam packed weekend. Um, so, just finished week or started week three. I uh, did a push workout today. Did a few things different today that was uh, really, really. I don't know. I think we're going to keep the change. I like. I like keeping the same uh, same workout as far as sets go and the, as far as muscle groups go, you know, push, pull, cardio, uh, arms, legs, but I do like to throw a little variance of the same exercises in there. So today we did barbell squats, nothing new there. Um, that one's going to be a staple of push day, uh, but we did leg press uh, and calf extensions, or uh, leg extensions, sorry. Um, but then after that, sideways here, we're not be sideways. Um, after that, when we started doing arms, uh, instead of doing just regular dumbbell bench, we did a uh, static uh, dumbbell bench, which is where you keep one arm, the arm that you're not pressing with, hold the weight up the whole time. Um, and I've never done those before, but one of my friends had told me about it over the weekend, and I was like, you know what, that sounds interesting, let me give that a shot. Um, so we did, and yeah, uh, that really, really, really added a, quite a twist to that, and I uh, got a really good pump going there. Um, and then uh, after we did the static dumbbell bench, we did two arm dumbbell uh, press as well. That's a little bit different, um, and that was, that was nice to hit felt more inner chest with that one than just what one we do. Um, and then after that, we did, uh, we did two tricep workouts. I'm struggling. Oh, uh, incline hammer curls. Uh, those are some of my, one of my go-to tricep workouts to get that going. Um, and then I hit peg flies followed by our superset it with some uh, tricep pull-downs. I was running out of time this morning, so I had to jam it in there at the end. And then we did a five-minute cool-down on the uh, the treadmill, followed by followed by uh, 20 minutes in the sauna, as always. I uh, can't forget the uh, leg raises for the abs in there. Didn't get two ab workouts in today, so that'll be able. I'll have to catch up with later in the week on that, because I only do one instead of two. I always try to aim for one ab workout that is more like a leg raise and then one that's a crunch motion. Like the fuck, if you get those two going, uh, you're normally in, in pretty good shape as far as uh, as the abs go. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it is Monday. Uh, coming into Monday at 187, so I didn't gain or lose any weight this weekend, uh, which is good. And, you know, as always, I tell you on Monday, uh, I don't like that Monday scale reading a lot because I just know that I, I don't, I'm not a super strict on the weekend. I'm not, that doesn't mean that I blow it out, but it does mean that I'm not, you know, quite watching what I eat as much and I'm not working out. Um, so I tend to be a little bit heavier on Monday than I am any other day of the week. So I guarantee you if I get on the scale tomorrow or Wednesday, I'll be at 184, 185, uh, which puts me right on track. Um, I'm still really interested in where my body fat percentage is going because I am seeing, like, I, I, the mirror test is always kind of hard. You know, looking in the mirror and seeing what you look like can be a bit of, a, of it can be deceiving in both ways because, you know, some days... Actually, some days I'm feeling myself. Some days I look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, it's working. It's so walking today. Um, and sometimes I look at the mirror and I look exactly the same as I did before, but for whatever reason that day, I'm not feeling it. Um, I'm feeling like I'm looking, you know, more flabby. Um, but eh, I, I, I'll go by the mirror test. I feel like stomach's getting smaller, um, my arms are definitely starting to pop more, I'm definitely getting more vascular in my, in my arms, so that's always, that I'll, I'll personally like that, um, so yeah, we'll see here in, at the end of the month, um, with 
that body from Fat Caliber says, I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and do it again next week, so I might do that and I'll give you guys an update. But as far as right now, um, we're gonna keep it keep it at, at, for the end of the month, just because that's what I plan to do. And, and body fat percentage is definitely not as uh, fluctuating as weight, so it's I don't want to do it too often because I feel like that might be a bit discouraging for me. Um, but We'll see. Um, we will see for sure because it is important to have. Uh, why it's so shaky this morning, guys? Um, it is important, you know, to have those tangible ways of of keeping track of things. Um, and that's body fat percentage and weight are definitely tangible, more tangible than the mirror test. So. Can't utter rely just on that. Um, as far as the outside of the gym, things are going pretty damn good. Uh, I, I can actually say, girlfriend, instead of my girlfriend now, we made that official on Saturday. We did this whole uh, watching 10 sunsets things before we made it official, and we hit number 10 on Friday night. Um, and to be honest with you, there wasn't really much of a sunset because it was super cloudy, but we were counting it because you know, we were both that's good um, to feel supported and you know to be honest with you to get sappy for a minute I feel believed in for the first time in my life um, maybe not first time but the first time was consistently and the first time for my partner that I, I truly felt supported and, and believed in so that's that's super nice um, and as far as uh, meal prep goes this week we're doing uh, for lunch uh, have uh, these chicken quesadillas made with a whole wheat tortillas. A little bit higher in the carbs this week. Uh, that's fine. Um, and then uh, just eating that with uh, potatoes and black beans. Uh, and then for dinner, I got asparagus and carrots with uh, with hamburger patties. Uh, so that should be scrumptious. Uh, You know, it's no preps always one of those things where it always blows my mind how I can spend you know two hours on a Sunday and have the whole week locked down, and it just makes things so much easier to eat right. So I don't know if you guys meal prep, but I highly recommend it, even if it's not about meal prepping like super super healthy things. Just meal prepping and knowing what you're eating is just like the stress it takes off my plate. You know. Um, no pun not intended there, but um, yeah, it's like I don't have to think about it. You know, that's one last thing I have to think about this week is what I'm gonna eat. I just I know already. You know, I'm eating, I'm eating steak and or hamburger steak and asparagus and uh, chicken quesadillas with black beans. You know, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep mixing that up and, and eventually I'm going to video some of my meal preps for you guys. But Sunday I struggle with that one because. I want to share a lot with you guys, but I also don't want to get too caught up in having a camera in my face 24-7. And meal prep is one of those times for me where it's not really a chore anymore because I do it so often. It's more of like a... It's, I enjoy it. You know, I put the music on, I, I turn it up, uh, I, I dance, I'm cooking. It's a good time. And I don't know if I add a camera to that mix if that's going to be conducive Plus, I'll be honest with you guys, I was pretty damn hungry over here yesterday. I had a lot of Saturday night celebrating with a girlfriend. Um, still managed to be in calorie deficit, deficit Saturday, though, because I went and got an extra arm workout, or back and, or back and bow workout on Saturday because I had a little extra time. And I had the weird schedule last week where I, I worked out. I had the 2 a.m. shift or whatever, so then I worked out double workout on Wednesday so I had to hit arms since Wednesday so I felt like I could sneak an extra extra back and arm workout in on a Saturday. Um, I like doing that. Uh, I, I love working out on days I don't have to go to work because then I can really empty the tank you know um, and, and spend you know a good amount of time working out versus my you know hour hour and a half that I have in the mornings before work. And then also, it's just like you can never go 
when you have to go to work later, it's always, you know, you have to leave a little bit in the tank, right? You can't all the way empty it. So, eh, that's where we're at right now. Uh, like I said, nothing, nothing too crazy going on. Everything is going about how it should go, which is kind of weird for me because yeah, that doesn't happen a whole lot. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, I hope that uh, you guys are doing well also and able to stay on track with your goals and, and track those and, and set new ones and, and be not just you know not just the goals but also just be happy outside of your goals. I think that's one thing that I'm really finding right now is that I'm really at peace with a lot of things um, that I haven't done in a while. So yeah. All of that being said, uh, it is Monday. I'm going to take a few more minutes before I get to work today to have some reflection time. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, it's good, good as always sharing with you where I'm at though. So happy, uh, happy Monday. Uh, get the bread. Stay above average. Maybe a little bit below athlete. But that's where we're at this morning. Uh, get the bread, baby. Push it.